Hey what's up guys, this is that kid Jake bringing you another video. Today I'm going to give you my first look and overview of the new Camtasia 2 for Mac. If you don't already know, Camtasia is a software program that's available for the PC or Mac where you can screen capture and record and edit your videos. And it costs $99, which may be a bit pricey, but it's advertised as a professional, so you get what you pay for. In this video, I'm just going to be showing you some of the new features and the new layout and overview. So this would be good for people that are already experienced with Camtasia or people that are totally new. I'll cover, try to both, cover both aspects of that. So let's get started. First, you want to note there's just a new logo and it's called Camtasia 2 now. So here is the new actual editor. Here you can obviously tell it has a new layout. If you uh, are familiar with the old one, it's a lot new. Um, Let's start over on the right side here. Here you can just click on a video and click bring up your settings here. And you have the basic settings here. It's just a new logo, but it's pretty much the same exact thing. You can change your position or orientation of the actual uh, recorded video, the position, and stuff like that. And also now you can change the cursor. So you can make it bigger or smaller. You can see it there and the opacity is pretty much the visibility of the cursor. Your cropping is still the same and the canvas is also the same except you have a few more options. You can change it to YouTube HD and custom. It's pretty much the same exact thing so there's not a huge difference. Here you have your regular timeline and you have your play and pause and control buttons. Um, you have your pause button and your media you can hide that if you want. So now let's take a look at the media which I think is a really nice thought out way they designed this. So you have your media here and this is pretty much where your uh, recordings are entered and you can also add your music and photos that you can add to the timeline as well. Now you have your annotations that are um, here and like I said it's not really a lot of new stuff but it's just a lot easier to use. So you can easily just click an annotation and you can easily just add it to the screen itself and it'll pop up on the timeline so you can edit that and just go over to the settings. You can change the colors, the font, and everything. And it's a lot easier to do. And you can just change the font just like that and it'll, the font will change. And you can easily just delete it by just clicking on it and click delete. So you also have some speech bubbles, some arrows, some shapes, highlights, and watermarks. Now you have your transition, so if you want to be transitioning through slides, you can just click and fade in, fade out. And also a really cool thing that I liked is the uh, ability to see it before you actually put it in. So you don't want to spend all this time editing something you really don't like. So you can just click on it and it shows you exactly how it will look like. So you can just know instead of just having to find out. So I really like that and you have a few options here. Next is your animations, and this is animations uh, in the video. So you have tilt left, tilt right, you have smart focus, and pretty much just basic stuff here that you can just um, add to your videos. And again, you can just actually click on the settings after you add this to your, say I want to tilt left, you can just add it to where you want it to go, click on the settings, actually you want to click on the thing, and then click settings, and you can change how you want it to be the cursor and the video highlights and how um, you want it to actually be. So you can easily just do that with the settings. And you have many, many more that you can check out. Next you have your video effects and this is like the effects of the video and a really cool thing they add is the vice frame. Um, I probably won't use it but it's really cool that you can do this now and you have a device frame so you can play your video while you're like on a certain device. So let's say and you can also change whatever you want. So you want a Thunderbolt display, iPad, pretty much all the iDevices are here. And you can make it horizontal or not, and that's up to you. And also what I like is you can have multiple ones on the side. So you want Windows Spotlight or something, and you can just add that to here as well. And what Windows Spotlight does is it pretty much takes rid of the whole background, as you'll see here. And it will pretty much just bright up the actual screen, which is a really cool feature that I like since, you know, the main thing is the actual web page and it just blocks out the rest of the stuff. And it doesn't make it like purely black, it just makes it like faded, so the main focus is on the screen, which I like that. 
And you, you can just click on the video effects here and click on it and you can change the duration of it and stuff like that. So you can also just delete that as well just by clicking the delete button. And if you have many other options too like glow and Sophia, drop shadow, colorize, reflection and stuff like that. So next you have your audio effects in which you can just add this. I don't have any audio, but you can just add it just like the same thing. And it has many different dynamics, processor, lower volume, raise volume, pitch, and stuff like that. And also captions if you want to do a lyric video or something. And last on here you have the cursor effects. And pretty much if you're clicking on something, uh, I'll give you an example. I'll put one right here. See, every time I click it will it's highlighted and you can just choose different types and again I really like how you can just preview it before you actually um, decide to go with that so that's pretty much everything about the new Camtasia in my opinion it's not really uh, really really new it just has a lot of features that are it makes it easier to edit your videos and record them and which I don't think that's a bad thing at all I think it was really good because I didn't really care for the previous Camtasia it was okay but this one is a lot better it's a lot easier to use and it's a lot more it's just easier and the features make it really really cool to use and so that's my first look and overview of the new Camtasia 2 for Mac thanks for watching guys you can pick it up at techsmith.com I'll leave a link in the description or an annotation and it's $99 or the 30 day free trial. So thanks for watching again guys and subscribe, comment, like, and tell me how I can do better on my next video. Thanks for watching guys.